Karmin Shama, Samir Astrologer. Today I will talk about Friday the 28th of August. It should be a beautiful day if you're Taurus, if you're Virgo, if you're Capricorn. That's because the moon today is in Capricorn. There's an earth trine between the moon and the sun and this will give these signs, the above mentioned signs, uh, a beautiful beautiful lucky day let's break down this friday for all signs starting with aries don't think that's going to be a very easy or a very calm or smooth friday it's going to be very busy um, most probably you will not have um, a long break and you need actually to recharge your uh, your, your your energy during this long demanding friday be extra careful if you were born between the 16th and the 18th of april taurus this is a beautiful gorgeous awesome one of a kind day it's super beautiful you should have anything you want make a wish and it will come true this is as much as i can say i cannot actually describe the beauty of this day so you should go ahead and work on the most complicated things that you have because they will work out and definitely don't accept anything that you don't like uh, gemini it can be a relief maybe you had some tough times on uh, wednesday and thursday so today is a relief today there is a change a positive change relative positive change so so i think that you're going to uh, be busy trying to making it up to your friends or to your loved ones or to those people you you think there was um, a, a mistake with them or a misunderstanding in all cases work on it it's it's a good friday it is a long friday but it's not that bad uh, cancer cancer you may you may find yourself actually busy doing things that you thought that you would have finished or ended uh, by Thursday but it's going on and most probably you will be working on them on Friday and Saturday so it's a long long Friday and you need to keep your mood in check the luckiest are those born between the 11th and the 13th of July Leo I think Leo today is in for a long long Friday most probably you'll be spending more than you um, you you bet uh, more than you waged for and i think that most probably you would like to pamper yourself so it's okay if this is what you want i think leos you need to pamper yourself it was a good month and i still think that you can do a lot um try not to waste this good day doing nothing try to do at least something important virgo i think virgo today is a day to celebrate it's one of the most beautiful days since maybe april uh, maybe may so today is a rewarding day probably it's romantic probably you will celebrate an achievement and probably you will get some great news it's a beautiful day no matter how old you are no matter what you do what you do this is a beautiful day that should not be wasted not a single minute of it as for libra libra this is a very very tiresome um, um exhausting day probably on a personal level i think it's the family i think it's the parents i think probably it's the kids or maybe you have some damages at the house and you have uh, some repairs so it can be a long day probably you will need your comfort zone whether you're at work or whether you're at home be extra careful especially if you were born between the 19th and the 21st of october scorpio is one intelligent sign today your ideas are so convincing and you can persuade anyone just with a smile all you have to do is be present all you have to do is participate this is a wonderful day to work on anything you want even a hobby you are very creative you're very inventive and actually this would be a great day to defend a case sagittarius uh, I think you may be in for a test or a drop quiz. It's as if somebody is trying to um, test you, uh, test your qualifications. So you have to stay aware. You stay alert all day long. You have to also um, uh, double check on your expenses because they may go a little bit. So uh, I think you should stretch your budget a little bit so that you can keep all the expenses in check 
it can be a good day. It can be a good day. But if you have something important at work or wherever, wherever I think you have to be ready. Capricorn with the moon in your sign. I think this is one of the most gorgeous, beautiful days of the whole month. Uh, you still have Saturday also, 29th of August. And probably they are the best days since, let me see, since um, May, probably. So this is a beautiful day that you can culminate uh, one phase of 2020 and you can start another one this is a beautiful day a perfect day for uh, for decision decision making and also for embarking on new jobs on new uh, projects if there's anything pending it should not be pending anymore between friday and saturday it's a green light aquarius it's a very slow day it's uh, quite empty you cannot actually count on luck there's no luck and don't count on coincidence because actually nothing will take place except frustration and disappointments it's that much so i suggest you double check on your budget you double check on your bookings probably you will be disappointed with delays or misunderstandings and you have to check your um i think your health also uh, let me move now to Pisces. Pisces, this is a happy day. If you need help, people will help you out because you will find that someone is really sympathizing, sympathizing with your case. So this is a good day to lobby around, to ask for help. You need help probably because you have someone who is so strong and been after you, has been after you trying to make give you a hard time so today is the best day to ask for help and don't be shy about it especially if you were born in the month of february so basically this is it for friday the 28th i wish you all a great day and see you tomorrow bye bye